thing you might not know, Haile Selassie was the last emperor of Ethiopia. But to Rastafarians in faraway Jamaica, he was God. A threat of birth of Rastafarian religion, Ethiopia's powerful role, and how one man became God to people in a religion that wasn't his. The Last Emperor He is undoubtedly one of the most famous African of all time. So who was Haile Selassie? The son of Ethiopian Emperor, he was born in 1892, real name Rastafari. You read that right, an ideology. At the time, Pan-Africanism was growing in popularity, upheld by the ideas of leading black thinkers such as Marcus Gabriel from Jamaica and W.E.B. Webb Du Bois from USA. Africans around the globe were becoming united by sharing an identity and dream of a one African state. Early 20th century, African states were almost all colonized. The Western colonizer states had carelessly divided up Africa amongst themselves in the 1885 Berlin Conference to take what they wanted from it. There has been no compensation or even apology for this to this day. The Glimmer of the Horizon By 1920, only Ethiopia and Libya remained uncolonized by whites. Libya had been claimed by free slaves from returning from America. Ethiopia was an untouched empire of its own and one of the oldest nations in the world, also known as Abyssinia. Black nationalism in the ideas still resound today. The popular superhero film Black Panther carries elements of Pan-Africanism and black nationalism in it. Jamaica, a key spot in the slave trade, needed this spirit very much. The Black King. It was Marcus Gavery who had professed, look to Africa when a black king is crowned. This signaled the coming African nations of sanctuary for Africans all over the world. In 1930, Ethiopian Emperor Rastafari was crowned. His name became Hali Silas. Son of Solomon, his dynasty claimed to be decent, and Solomon and the Queen of Sheba. As the only independent black king and purported heir of two biblical names, his kingdom was like a dream. All the way in Jamaica, the Afro Jamaicans repeated the word black to Africa. God incarnate. A legend was built around Hali Selassie and back to Africa. Gavri's professed black king was here, the human incarnated of God, called Jah by the Rastafarians. This is why Rastafarian art uses the colors of the Ethiopian flag. I'd better wrap this up, but I hope that we can all take away from this thread that even though we generally don't know much about Ethiopia, we can remember that it is the higher to a great history and carried and still does immense importance to many people around the world. Emperor Haile Selassie of Ethiopia was Times Person of the Year in 1936. Blaka.